here at Colony Rehabilitation Hospital, which is an infirmary health hospital located at Thomas Hospital in Fairhope. This is Dr. Gulati. Dr. Gulati, good morning. Good nice, to see you. Nice to see you. All right, so this is very exciting for you all. This facility just opened in March. Tell the folks a little bit about Colony Rehab. So Colony Rehab is an inpatient rehab hospital. It's the only uh, rehab hospital of its kind in Baldwin County. And we take care of patients after they've had uh, traumatic issues such as maybe a car accident with a brain injury or a stroke, uh, amputation, or other debilitating condition. And a lot of times th there are patients in our county that were having this problem, but they didn't have a rehab hospital that could take care of them. So what we're able to do now with the opening of this facility is take care of people that are from here back at home. So key to have this right here in our backyard for anyone out there who needs help to take advantage of the services that you provide here. We are in the gym area. Tell us a little bit about what takes place in here. So this is where we have physical therapy and occupational therapy. When you do come to Colony, you have physical therapy, occupational therapy, and sometimes speech therapy if you need it. The physical therapists are going to work on your overall mobility. So what I've got here is, you know, you may have a patient that's had a stroke where one part of one side of their body may not work right or their me legs may not. Our skilled therapist will bring them up into their wheelchair and then they would be able to stand up and with the support here start working on their ambulation and recovery. Overall, that's very important, something you and I would take for granted because right. we're able to walk without any issues. Other things and other components, we also have a uh, kitchen area for occupational therapy. Other things we take for granted are ADLs that we call it, activities of daily living. So things as bathing, dressing, and also cooking. We have a kitchen back there that sometimes, you know, you need to be able to cook when you after you leave here. So we'll work on that and say, hey, can you actually stand up at counter height to do the things you need to do? And really just reintegrate the patient back into their life and getting their quality of life back. So practicing the things that they encounter in their everyday life, something as simple as moving out, out and about in the kitchen and preparing a meal. That's correct. All right, sounds good. So we have other things here in the gym as well. Tell me about some of the other things that you have here. So some of the other things uh, you'll see in the far corner there is one of the ultrasound machines where we use that uh, for the physical therapy treatments. There's also electrical stimulation where you have electrical stimulation of specific muscles to try to get them to recover after after an injury like a stroke. Uh, our speech therapy room is also in the back where they will work on people swallow. Uh, one thing that can also happen after a stroke is people's swallowing capability is lost. And so with the assistance of our skilled therapists, we're able to help them uh, with the use of either electrical stimulation, other exercises, and other techniques help them recover that ability to swallow. So critical and so important to just the value of their everyday life to be able to do the things that they're used to be doing on a normal basis. Uh, speaking of some of the things we have here, there's another room, the dining room actually, where you have something else you guys wanted to show us. Let's go take a look. Dr. Hasley is joining us now. We're in the dining room area. Tell us a little bit about what takes place in here. So this is our uh, community dining room. We uh, like to encourage our patients to uh, come in here with their families and with the other patients um, to encourage interaction. They can support each other. Um, one of the things we have in here is our transfer car where patients can um, uh, work on getting in and out of their vehicle and we can adjust the height uh, to match the height of the vehicle that they have um, at home that they'll be using. So tell me why that's important. Is that a common problem for people who come through with the rehab here? Exactly. So that's very important for uh, getting reintegrated into the community. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, people have to get to doctor's appointments and outpatient uh, appointments they may have. Uh, so being able to get in and out of a car is a huge thing, uh, so they're not uh, stuck at home, obviously. Of course. So if I'm a patient here, and so what would you typically be showing me here? What am I doing? Uh, so we can uh, adjust, we, we talk about what kind of car you have uh, mm -hmm. first and we can adjust the height up and down if you have a, you know, a, low, a small lower car or you know, a big uh, truck that sits up high. But uh, Let's say I've got a big like $150,000 truck. Let's raise it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> all right, so you've got it all raised up now for us. So again, what is the goal here? Uh, so we've got it raised to your, mm -hmm. your vehicle height that you have at home, so we're going to be working on uh, you know, getting in and out properly, uh, transferring into the car seat on the passenger side there. Um, and again, we get the patient's family to work with them on this for when they're preparing to go home and our therapy staff 
uh, works with the patients on uh, on the car transfers. And again, for someone like us, it's very easy, but for someone who's going through the rehab here, this is an important part of their daily routine, important part of their function of everyday life, so it's so important to get this down and work with all the other things that you have going on here as well. If you'd like to learn more about everything that takes place here, visit the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. Dr. Hasley, thanks a lot. All right, thank you for coming.